Hi guys and welcome to this tutorial. Here I'm going to show you how to have form controls in a worksheet that are linked to cells in that worksheet and still work when you go to protect that worksheet. So real quickly what I mean is right here I've got a checkbox with a little input form. showed you how to make this on another tutorial and it's actually linked to this cell right here. So if I go ahead and show you the text you can see it's linked right there. But if we go to protect the worksheet now, when I change this, it says the cell or chart you're trying to change is on a protected sheet, blah, blah, blah. You can't do it without unprotecting the sheet. So here I'll show you how to keep your cells linked with your form controls, which is needed when you have other formulas that apply to these cells, but then also safe and hidden and protected from the user so that they cannot change it. Before we start, check the video description and click the link to Teach Excel so you can download the files for the tutorial and follow along. And make sure to subscribe and accept notifications so you can see all the new tutorials. Now before I get into this tutorial, if you don't want to spend the time to watch it to learn how to do everything, the simple answer is this. Unlock the linked cell and hide the column. Now this example here is from the Advanced Worksheet Controls tutorial, and if you like the way it works, it's pretty cool. Check out, okay, let me unprotect the sheet. Check out that tutorial so you can figure out how to do this and make a cool little input form like that. Here I'm going to go to another tab, and we're going to add two different types of form controls, because this one actually only uses one type. So we're going to go over here, and before we can add any form controls, you must add the Developer tab. So to do that, we go to the File menu, then we go down here to Options, and we are going to go to Customize Ribbon, Main Tabs under here, and check next to Developer. Hit OK, and life is good, and we've got our Developer tab. And we'll go to the Controls section, Insert, and here we have two different types of controls. We have a Form Controls section and an Active X Controls section. Now the main difference is that Form Controls are easier to use in the worksheet, and Active X Controls are easier to use with VBA and Macros. So here we will do a checkbox from the Form Controls and a text box from the Active X Controls, and we're going to link both to cells in the worksheet. So let's go ahead and first add the checkbox. Add this guy right here. If you want, click in here. Some text. Change that. Life's good. Click away. And we have a nice little checkbox. So let us right click the checkbox and go to Format Control. Control Tab, Cell Link. I'm going to go ahead, click this guy, select A1, hit Enter, then OK. And now we have an awesome checkbox that is linked to cell A1. Now let's go ahead and input the ActiveX control. It's a little bit different than the form control. So click it, drag it, make it OK. But now when we go to right click it, we go to Properties. And we get this lovely little window that's going to look pretty confusing if you don't deal with VBA or macros. But what you want to do is just go down here to where it says linked cell. Click in there. Let us type A3. And if you want, you can hit enter, but you don't have to. Once you do that, close the properties window. And now you can't access this just by clicking away and then clicking back. What you have to do is you have to go to the design mode button in the developer tab. See how it's highlighted right now? We need to click it. So it's not highlighted, and then we can go in here and use this. And you see we can, hello world, type text, and it goes into cell A3. Awesome. But if we want to go back to editing this, I can't just go up here and right-click it. When I right-click it, nothing happens. It goes in here for text. So what you have to do is you have to go back to the Developer tab and click Design Mode again. Then you can right-click this, go back to the Properties, Format Control, move it around the worksheet, do whatever you want. And when you're done, click Design Mode again. So this is another example of how it's a bit more complex to work with this guy in Excel, but easier in macros. So now we have this. Life is good. We have these cells that are connected and... When we go here, now we get the problem that we can't do anything. Same here. 
And the good one about, or the funny little thing about the text box is I can still change what's in the text box. It just is not going to change what is in cell A3. So that might trip you up a little bit. But now what we're going to do is to solve the problem. So there are a couple different ways that you can hide data in Excel. And I've talked about it extensively in many different tutorials. But what we're going to do here is just very simply, we're going to hide the columns. But before I do that, let's make sure that I can prove that this will work. So I'm going to do this and this. Oftentimes, you want to use these values in other formulas. That's the only reason that you're going to link the cells. So now we have two formulas here that link to this. And what we're going to do now is to unprotect these cells. So we right click, we go to Format Cells, or Unlock the Cells is the correct term. Go to the Protection tab and uncheck Locked. Hit OK. We do the same for Hello World. OK, uncheck, okie dokie. And now when we go to protect the sheet, we will be able to change those cells. However, these cells are not protected. So the easy way around that is to right click the column that they're in and click hide. Now column A is hidden and we can protect the sheet. Changes, perfect. See, make sure this guy changes, perfect. But watch what happens when we go to unhide. You cannot hide or unhide a column. So even if I went over here to try and hide or unhide, nope, you cannot unhide the column. So it is a really, really awesome little trick. Now let's say, now that I've unprotected it just now, if I want to go and unhide it again, right click, unhide, Okay, click right here on the edge, unhide, there we go. And you can see our data was kept safe, protected from the user on a protected worksheet, which you can password protect if you want, but the user could not access any of this data. And what you could do is you could unprotect the entire column if you wanted, pretty cool, right click the column, format cells, and just make everything unlocked, and then go ahead and hide it and protect the worksheet. So we're combining a couple different things here to essentially hide the data while keeping it unhidden in a way. And let's say that you're making a beautiful, lovely, amazing form, and you don't like the fact that one column is now hidden because it starts with column B. Well, a couple different things. You could hide a column way over here out of the way so no one's going to see it. Or better yet, if you're trying to make a beautiful, lovely form, go to the View tab remove your grid lines, remove your formula bar, and remove your headings. And then of course make sure that you select over here away from the hidden column. That way the user cannot get back to it at all. Now the user has no idea that you have hidden columns or hidden data and our worksheet is protected. They can do whatever they need to do keep your formulas working perfectly, and you can create a lovely little form here inside the worksheet that is safe, connected, everything will work. You could make this example here work with that just as well. The only form control I have here is a checkbox. This one's a regular cell. So here, you do the same thing we did in the other example. Just unlock this cell, hide this column, and you're good to go. Now I'm gonna go ahead and leave this guy with the visual cues added back in. All right, let's get away from here, unprotect the sheet, view, bring all this back. Okay, I'll leave it like this. So to recap, all we did, unlock cells, hide columns. But what I wanted to do here is to make sure that you understood the two different types of controls, the process you have to go through to link the controls to cells, and the fact that you're going to be using formulas to reference those, to show you the problem, and then show you how to fix the problem as well. So by now you should know pretty much everything you need to know about how to link form controls to cells within a worksheet, and then protect that worksheet but still have all of the linked cells working with the form controls. So that's it for this tutorial, and I hope you found it helpful.
I hope you liked the tutorial. If it was helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe and accept notifications so you can see all the new tutorials.